Good morning everyone, it is bright and early, it is 6am. I'm doing yoga this morning, I've actually booked to do yoga every single morning, pretty much every morning this week at 6.30. Uh, it's my first time going to this particular place and it's um, Bikram yoga, so it's hot and it is freezing cold outside. <laughs> like last week the temperatures really, really dropped. Um, so yeah, it's pretty freezing. <laughs> and I have obviously wrapped up really, really warm. I've got my scarf, I've got my hat, and I've got some gloves. So I'm gonna really wrap up because I think especially when you leave, when you've been like sweating so much <laughs> and then you hit the freezing cold, you're just gonna feel freezing. Um, so yeah wrap up nice and warm it's my first time doing it today and then I kind of just have a day of like meetings kind of out and about around London and stuff like a typical day basically so I thought I'd vlog it so before I get showered after that yoga session, I have just made a warm apple cider vinegar drink. This is just one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of hot water and then half a cup of cold water. And then the juice of half a lemon and then half a teaspoon of cinnamon just to give it a bit of flavour. And this is brilliant in the morning to detox your body and just basically get you going for the rest of the day. I'm a sweaty mess at the moment so please excuse the state of me. I really enjoyed that yoga, it was so good. When you do hot yoga your muscles are just so warmed up that you're way more flexible and uh, I felt like I could do way more so I'm really glad that I enjoyed it because I've actually booked to go tomorrow and then Thursday, Friday and then maybe one over the weekend as well so if I'd hated it that would have been a bit of an issue <laughs> but I really really enjoyed it so yeah I'll be good doing it for the rest of the week. Um, I've just got my apple cider vinegar drink here. I used to do this a lot, like every morning just have an apple cider vinegar or hot lemon drink and I haven't done it for a while so today is like my first morning kind of get, getting back into it and I really want to do it every day but I need to go and shower ASAP and then I will make some breakfast. Right, on to porridge. So I'm going to do a banana and peanut butter porridge. It takes no time at all. I've got my oats in here from Whole Foods. These are just rolled oats. I'll add about a tablespoon of peanut butter in there, uh, chop up some banana, and then I'll use about half a cup of oat milk and then half a cup of water. And then I also just found these goji berries and I'm pretty sure I need to use these up because I don't even know how long they've been open for. So I'm just gonna throw in a small handful of those as well. And also just quickly, I wanted to show you the probiotics that I have been taking for the past like two months. Um, I get this one, it is the Once Daily Women's uh, 50 billion guaranteed, <laughs> I don't know, probiotics by Garden of Life. It's the microbiome formula. Um, there's actually only, I think, my hands are so greasy, I've just put loads of hand cream on. I can't open it, but I think there's only one left, so I need to get this again. I just got these from Whole Foods. So I'm just gonna let this simmer away for a few minutes, let those oats soak up all of that liquid. And while that's cooking, I just wanted to talk about mornings and whether or not I'm a morning person because I posted on my Instagram a couple of days ago about how I booked into these yoga classes, um, sunrise yoga, and loads of people were then messaging me on Instagram saying, are you a morning person or how are you a morning person? How do you motivate yourself to wake up so early? And so I thought I would just address that now quickly while the porridge is on the hob. I'm naturally not a morning person, I wouldn't say, because I wake up in the morning and I'm definitely not one of those people that wake up at like six and I'm wide awake, that's it, ready for the day. Like it definitely takes me a while to wake up mentally and I could definitely stay in bed for another like few hours, I swear. But I love when I am up and awake early because it just means that you can get so much more done before your working day begins. Um, 6 a.m. I know for many of you probably isn't even that early. I know so many people have to wake up way before that for work. Um, but I don't have like a structured work day. My Monday to Friday can be all over the place. Like I can be in a different country. I can be traveling all over London at least. Like it's always all over the place. So for me to get structure, it is to wake up early. And that means that I can get my exercise done in the morning. Um, even if it's just yoga or going on a run, going to the gym, going to a class. 
and I love that I love the feeling of like walking down the street and it's still dark and the street lights are still on and you feel almost like you're the only person that's awake you feel like all the houses are still fast asleep and then as soon as you see other people walking along the road like on their way to work or going to exercise as well you feel like you're part of this weird like club like ah uh, we're up really early before anyone else and I, I weirdly really like that I'm like this morning walking down to yoga which is only like a 15 minute walk I loved it because it's like you can really think about your day before it even begins because the sun isn't even up yet. I'm just going to give this porridge a stir. I feel like it might be burning. It's going a bit crazy. Let's turn this down. There we go. That's better. I could just hear it like simmering a bit too much, but it's all good. I'm just going to leave it for another few minutes. Um, yeah, I just, I love that you are up, awake, out of the house, you're proactive, you're doing something for you before you really need to be up. and. Oh, I just love it, especially in the summer actually, when the sun is like just rising as you're waking up and you're out and about, like I really, really love that. So I guess the motivation for me to wake up early is so that I'm proactive before the working day begins. I give myself a bit of time because I know so often when you've got these crazy days, like you're working so early and you don't get home until really late, there's no time to actually relax and do what you want to do so just waking up like a little bit earlier than you need to you can get all of those things done even if it's just like i don't know spending a bit more time on your hair and makeup or like housework or whatever it is like you just have that time there's no rush because I, I hate waking up in the morning and you spend like 20 minutes like quickly in and out of the shower bit of makeup if you have time then out the door like that just stresses me out and I feel tense for the rest of the day because I've been in a rush and um, whereas just taking your time like the rest of the day kind of follows in that kind of pattern um so yeah that's my motivation I definitely struggle with it sometimes like my alarm went off this morning at 5 45 and I was lying there like oh I really want to just stay here I don't I don't want to go to yoga what am I what am I thinking but um, as soon as you're up and out the door, and especially when you get to yoga or whatever it is you're doing, you feel so happy that you did. And here it is, the porridge. So we've got peanut butter, banana, goji berries. It smells so, so good. I know it doesn't look like much, but honestly, this is just going to sort me out <laughs> for the morning. It just gives me, it's like brain food, I swear. Porridge just gives me so much like motivation in some weird way and keeps me full. I just wanted to really quickly show you our plants because as you can see, we are kind of living in a greenhouse now. We went to the Columbia Road flower market last Sunday, so over a week ago, and bought these beautiful flowers and I can't believe how well they are still doing. Like they look so, so fresh. Um, those ones actually aren't real. I have had those for literally like six years um, and they just come everywhere with me. I don't know why I bought them um, because you can just get real ones and they look beautiful. Um, but yeah, they're good for like winter, I suppose, to brighten up a little bit when you don't have flowers. So this guy we've had for a long, long time and it has grown so, so much. Like throughout summer, it just, I swear, tripled in size, which is amazing. Um, and then this one we bought because on patch, it is called Joseph. And I'm not gonna lie, like that's literally why we got it we were like oh my god we need to get a plant called joseph but we love it it's still in a bucket um so we need to buy a really nice pot for that at some point and um oh these guys this is something that we have been wanting to do for such a long time i love hanging plants if i come this way you might be able to see better there we go so this one oh my god what's it called it begins with p um I think on patch it was called like Chinese monkey plant or something and then this is just like a cactus type thing like a I don't know easy to manage type plant we bought most of our big plants oh no some of the small ones we got most of our plants from patch which is an amazing website where um, you can pick what plants you want based on what your room is like so whether it's really shaded if it's quite dark or if it's quite bright and it tells you what plants um do well in which kind of conditions so that really really helped us pick plants and for each room but then like i said we went to the columbia road flower market and we did buy a few more plants it's like once you start buying plants you become a bit obsessed like we, we're literally like a plant fanatic right now um but we also got a couple more i'm just i might as well just show you the rest right so these are on our kitchen counter oh this one was sent to me by a brand oh i can't even remember now 
Um, but I love it. I'm trying to keep it alive. I don't know how healthy that's looking right now. But this one I got for Christmas and I've literally just planted them myself. So you, you, this, it comes with the soil and the seeds and they look like they're doing pretty well. It's literally only been about a week. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, and this is all of our fruit from Oddbox. They send you wonky fruit and vegetables. I mean, they're not actually that weird though. So it's brilliant. You get like the best kind of fruit and veg, but it's really affordable. The kiwis are a bit odd though, right? <laughs> they're the only things that are a bit strange out of the fruit. And then up here we have hung an English ivy. I love these. I really hope this one stays healthy because I think it's going to look so, so beautiful when it keeps growing. And then this is our snug. So this is like our cozy room. And it's basically where we like meditate. I do actually have my desk in here. So I do work in here sometimes, but to be honest, I'm normally out of the house. So yeah, it's more of our snug. But this is a peace lily plant. I, it's huge, like it arrived this big. Um, but apparently it does pretty well in the dark. So it's an easy to manage plant, which is what we need in here because there isn't that much light. And in our lounge again, there are more plants. So this is, oh, on patch they called it a Rapunzel and I can't remember what it's called. I think it's something about devil's something. I can't remember, but hopefully it will continue to grow and just like flow, which I think will look really nice on the fireplace. And this plant again, the big one on the right, we've had that for a long, long time. It's looking a bit sad to be honest. The leaves are looking a bit droopy, so. Need to sort that out. And then this is a mini uh, peace lily plant. Again, the same as in the snug, but just a little baby one. And behind me, another one that we have had for a long, long time. Doing pretty well, I think. It's actually got new kind of shoots coming through on each plant. So they're there, which I think is a good sign. So that's all good. And do we have any plants over here? This one is really not doing very well. And then we have some more flowers that we bought from the flower market over a week ago, and they're still doing pretty well. This is Mimosa, the yellow flowers. I think they're absolutely beautiful, and yellow is my favorite color. And it goes perfectly with the vase. And then just some eucalyptus leaves in there. And eucalyptus leaves just look ev good with everything. And apparently you can dry these out as well, so I'm hoping that we can kind of save these after they're done in here. Right, plant tour over. <laughs> Time to eat the porridge. Right, two meetings down, one to go. I've actually just had my eyes tested as well. I don't have bad eyes at all, but like when I'm driving especially, I notice that my eyes are really like, that everything's blurry, especially at night with all the lights. So I went to get my eyes tested and they were literally like, your eyes, you, like you've got good eyes and you've got like the most tiniest prescription ever. But I've gone and got some glasses, so I need to pick them up next week. I went to Cubitt's on Charlotte Street, it's really, really good. I've come to Mortimer House Kitchen. I love it here, mainly because all of the plants it's such a gorgeous restaurant. I'm back home now. I've had a really proactive day. I feel like I've got so much done. Like this day feels like it's been like two days in one. Um, I, yeah, I had a few meetings, lovely lunch meeting at Mortimer House Kitchen. Um, I had a lovely bowl of mushroom soup and then a side of like uh, sweet potatoes and stuff. Then headed back to the office at Gleam for a little bit and came home. And Joe and I were going to go to the cinema, but we've looked at cinema times and they, they're kind of stay, starting quite late tonight, which is a bit frustrating because I'm up at like quarter to, five, uh, to quarter to six again tomorrow. So I don't really want a late night and cinema nights always go on forever. So we've decided to have like a movie night in and um, I've got some like soup type stew stuff that was frozen, so we're gonna have that for dinner. But first of all, I'm going to make us some popcorn so that it's ready after the dinner, because Joe's starving, so he wants dinner now and then we'll have popcorn. Um, I haven't made popcorn from scratch in a long time, but I do have the kernels, so yeah, I'm actually really excited to make it. So I've obviously just got the normal popcorn kernels there. I'm going to use about half a cup of those two tablespoons of coconut oil to melt and kind of coat the kernels, quite a bit of this nutritional yeast to give it that lovely kind of buttery cheesy flavour. And then also just for an extra hit of flavour I'm going to use this stock powder which sounds weird but I don't have any onion and garlic powder and that's basically what this is. So those two combined with a bit of salt and pepper should be absolutely delicious. So the heat is going to go on like a medium to high heat and I'm going to add the two tablespoons of coconut oil. So 
sorry about the state of our pan. That totally burnt a few days ago. But we've got the melted coconut oil on there. So in goes the popcorn kernels. I'm going to cover that and give it a shake to make sure all of the kernels get coated in the oil. And I'm just constantly shaking that pan to make sure they're all evenly getting the heat. It's going crazy. That worked out so well. Like nothing burnt, it was perfect. So I'm going to add the remaining ingredients now. So I'm just, what I'm gonna do, because there's obviously quite a lot of popcorn there, that much. Um, it's crazy how much you get from half a cup of popcorn to kernels. It's huge. Uh, I'm just going to add like bit by bit, like season it as I go, rather than like season everything at once, because otherwise the bottom popcorn kernels just won't be covered. Bit of salt and pepper. worked out so so well I'm really pleased it's like cheesy popcorn do you want to try sure. give it a go popcorn before dinner <laughs> mm, oh, well. is it good yeah. I don't even like popcorn you don't like popcorn well, not, not the blanket I'm not don't I'm not, tell me you don't like popcorn I've just made popcorn I'm not big on popcorn but I'm big on this mm. well, that's not what do you mean? No, forget the soup, but it's just... This was a bad idea making this before dinner. I thought I'd make it in preparation and have it afterwards. That was incredible. Mm. So we had this huge odd box arrive, which I think I said earlier is basically where wonky fruit and vegetables that supermarkets don't take because they're not quite to their standards are basically go to waste. But instead, this company send you a box full of all those wonky veg, and they're amazing, like I showed you the fruit this morning, it's so so good. And we just had so many vegetables that we decided to make this, well it was a soup, but it now looks more like a stew, doesn't it? So I think if we just add this into the big pan, top it up with some hot water, we'll make like a stew-like vegetable, pearl barley, don't know, something. But it tasted really good when we made it, and we just froze it, so we've defrosted it today. You hungry? Yeah. So this arrived at Gleam today. Another plant. I gave everyone a plant tour this morning. And this, yeah. <laughs> and this is adding to it. <laughs> that's a nice plant. It's beautiful. Where does it go? Maybe that isn't right. I know, I don't think that's right. Like this literally looks like a greenhouse right now. We need to like disperse them. Maybe we just carry him around and eventually he'll just find a home. Yeah, that could work. We'll settle him somewhere. He can have a holiday in every room until he settles. There's the popcorn. <laughs> Oh, I hid it! No! <laughs> and here it is, the mixed vegetable and pearl barley soup slash stew. <laughs> With some bread on the side, smelling good. Sometimes when you leave it kind of like a free few days, those flavours just infuse even more. And we are about to watch Les Mis as well. How cute does our home look? We've had such a lovely cosy night in. I love having a movie night in. Sometimes nothing beats it and I'm actually glad we didn't kind of force ourselves out to go to the cinema because yeah, I loved it. Really nice. Um, we watched Les Mis and then we watched a film with Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick. I think it was called A Simple Truth or something like that. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. We love those girls. Um, but yeah, we are just going to go to sleep now. I am up at 5.45 again for yoga in the morning, um, which for some reason I'm actually really looking forward to. It, it's a bit later than I thought it was. Actually, I thought I would get a really early night, like last night, and kind of be in bed by 10, but it's already 11.30 I think, so I'm not going to be getting much sleep. But um, it'll be worth it for the yoga in the morning. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.